Hi, welcome back to the Dixie Bell YouTube channel. I'm Connie from Faf Designs and I'm one of your Dixie Bell brand ambassadors. In the video today, I'm going to be repainting these drawers because I originally painted them a few months ago and not entirely pleased with how they turned out. Something not working with them. However, something's just landed on my doorstep a couple of days ago. It's a brand new product from Dixie Bell. I'm really excited about it because it is super pretty and I immediately knew that it had to go on these drawers and have a complete makeover as soon as I saw it. So because this is a repaint, there's not actually that much prep work to do. I am going to take the handles off because it's, number one, easier to paint a piece without the handles on. Number two, I think they're part of the problem. So they're going to be removed and I've got some beautiful ones lined up to put on at the end. The colour that I'm using is Acadia from the Silk Mineral Paint range. And the original colour that you can see there, the red colour, that is also a Silk Mineral Paint colour. So you can go straight over the top of silk with silk if you want to change the colour of your piece or if you change your mind. You don't really have to strip the piece. You don't even have to sand it. As long as it's clean um, and the paint is adhered well to the surface, you can go straight over the top of silk with silk. And as you can see, this colour covers like an absolute dream. I have filled the old handle holes. That's because I'm going to change the handles later on. And like I say, it just makes it easier to paint when the handles are off. So as I said at the start of this video, there is a brand new product that Dixie Bell are releasing or have released at the time of posting this video. I'm not entirely sure when this video is going to be posted and this is it. So this is a brand new transfer and the detail on these flowers is absolutely stunning. I knew I wanted to use it as soon as Dixie Bell showed it me. So I want to pop it on these drawers. Now, as you can see, the design of this transfer is a vertical shape, but my drawers are more of a horizontal size. So I'm going to kind of add pieces of this transfer to these drawers, but I won't be using the entire transfer. And that just means that I can put it to one side and use it on another project down the line it is a very very large transfer it's got four sheets in the pack and they are full of these really pretty purpley pinky colored blooms As I mentioned, this is only kind of part of the transfer that I'm going to use, and I'm just going to put peaks of this transfer in the corners. So I'm going to start with the bottom right, and then this larger piece on the left hand side, I was originally going to span it over the three drawers, but I feel like I can add another piece to the top right. So I dropped it down a little bit, and masking tape is your best friend when you are trying to place transfers like this on a, a bit a piece of furniture and you're not going to fill the entire space i'm just placing the handle on there as well just to make sure that it looks okay so you did get a little sneaky peek of the handle there and then i'm going to tape it in place over the two drawers and then slice with a craft knife the two pe the, the, the piece of transfer into two and that way i'm going to get the, the design will continue over the two drawers and it's going to line up perfectly. So by leaving the bottom half in kind of situ, I can line up that top half, apply that and then line up the second half. There's loads of different ways to line up the patterns if you are adding a transfer over to several drawers, but this is just the way that makes sense to me. So there will be a gap in between these drawers where obviously the kind of bit in between the drawers runs and I'm not going to add a transfer onto that piece I'm going to leave that gap so that's why I'm doing it this way if with the drawers open and slicing it like that if I wanted to make that pattern continuous I would close all the drawers apply it as one and then slice the transfer afterwards so this is just this particular way of doing it like I say there's always more than one method to doing things I'm just showing you the way that I'm doing it so again with that second piece now because I've left it in situ the tape is holding it in place I can then take the backing sheet off and then just line it up with the pattern above it so that I know that it's going to kind of line up
And again, for the top right hand side, I've got this really pretty bloom that I just want kind of peeking to make it kind of flow. And I'm gonna use exactly the same process. So I'm gonna tape it all in place and making sure there's a piece of tape on both of the drawers so that something doesn't fall off when you slice it. Cut it through the middle, go with the top one first and make sure that is all on and burnished and then do the same with the bottom one so that I can line the pattern up. So to seal this piece I'm going to use clear coat in flat and I'm also going to use the foam and dandy brush because this leaves a flawless finish with your top coats, no streakiness and no brush marks. I'm only going to top coat the three drawers with the transfer on because this sheen level is very similar to how silk sheen level is once it's dry and I don't really want to top coat the entire piece and it's not necessary because silk has a built in top coat already so I'm just going to top coat two coats of clear coat over the drawers as always there is some close ups of this transfer because I want you to see how beautiful the detail is on this transfer I think it's going to be a real popular transfer you can buy it from your local Dixie Bell retailer or online at Dixie Bell Paint. Thank you for watching the video as always. Make sure you subscribe to the Dixie Bell YouTube channel and I will catch you next time.